Hey there, Gamer Gamer here. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of the Samsung Chromebook 2. Um, as many of you may know, um, a Chromebook has been um, kind of in vogue in the last couple of years. Um, it's basically a stripped down laptop in a lot of ways. Um, it's used for very basic activities like email, um, document editing, uh, internet browsing, uh, minimal browser-based gaming and such. So um, they're very popular with students. Um, they're also popular with senior citizens who kind of don't want to have to deal with a lot of the uh, the mechanics of a laptop. You know, you have to deal with like virus protection, you know, hardware upkeep and such. So a lot of people who just don't want to have to deal with those issues will go with a Chromebook because they're nice and simple and they're super lightning fast too. So I decided um, to uh, get one of these to try it out. Um, they normally range anywhere between the price of 250 and 300 is the average price for a Chromebook. Um, I was able to snag this Samsung Chromebook 2 uh, for 149 on sale at Best Buy. Um, I'll include the link uh, in the description below to, um, if you, and just in case you would like to go and buy this, uh, this Chromebook. So uh, what you'll need uh, for um, this unboxing, we'll obviously need scissors, we'll need the computer itself. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead real quick and I'm going to read off the uh, stats of what this computer comes with. So um, it comes with an 11.6 inch display. Uh, it comes with an, in, um, an Intel Celeron processor N2840. So it's a dual core processor. Um, it is known as more of an entry level one. Uh, and basically it's for what I said, you know, email, internet browsing, basic gaming on, you know, like Facebook, Farmville, that type of stuff. Um, it comes with two gigabytes of system memory um, and you know a lot of people say oh that's not very much um, but you have to realize that um, a Chromebook like this doesn't have a traditional operating system and it doesn't uh, it's not designed to house a lot of the information that a laptop has so two gigabytes of memory is more than enough to do what you need to do on this computer uh, it comes with 16 gigabytes of eMMC flash memory uh, and it says on here in the description, this ultra compact memory system is ideal for mobile devices and applications providing enhanced storage capabilities and quick boot up times. So basically, um, you know, for a lot of what you're going to be doing on here, you don't need a lot of space. Uh, and, you know, having, um, you know, this type of flash memory basically allows the computer to start up really quickly and uh, not use up a lot of resources. Uh, it comes with Intel HD graphics. Uh, it weighs 2.7 pounds and it's 0 0.7 inches thin. Um, it comes with a Bluetooth 4.0 interface and it syncs with compatible devices. Uh, so obviously um, it doesn't say quite here what those compatible devices are. I'm assuming different types of phones and tablets. Uh, it has an HDMI output that expands your viewing options. Uh, next generation wireless connectivity. Uh, you can connect it to a wireless AC router and it says for speed nearly three times as fast than the wireless N. Uh, and the, um, the uh, system that it comes with is obviously not Windows, it's called uh, Google Chrome OS. And so what it says on here is automatically downloads and installs security and software updates so you don't have to waste your time managing patches and waiting for restarts. So um, a lot of people have, to have compare, compared the uh, Chrome OS to almost like a form of Android kind of of what uh, you see on phones and a lot of tablets come with. So it's going to be similar to that. Um, as I said before, it comes with built-in virus protection and Google products. So you get stuff like Gmail, you know, uh, Google Talk, YouTube, uh, Google Drive, Google Documents, stuff like that in order to manage your, uh, you know, your uh, video editing, different stuff like that. Um, and it also comes with additional ports such as a microphone in, headphone out combo jack. Um, it does not come with a DVD and CD drive though, so that is something to consider. Uh, if you need something like that, you might want to get an external, uh, an external CD DVD drive. All right, so uh, that completes the stats for uh, this computer. Um, so let's go ahead and, uh, and open it up here. Okay, as you can see uh, what the box looks like here, um, you know, you have, you know, the picture of the device. It's in a... Uh, a pretty sturdy uh, cardboard box here. You can tell kind of how thick it is. Uh, this is going to be the front part that opens up. Um, it's recyclable. Um, down here you have your numbers for it. Uh, here is the front here that says, you know, Samsung uh, Chromebook 2. Shows the image of the back of the computer. Okay, so we're going to take our scissors here. We're going to cut open here. It says if this seal is broken, do not use this device. So most likely that means, you know, it would be a computer that was tampered with in some way. All 
right, so as you can see, it uh, it opens up this way. Okay. Let's see. All right, so um, what do we have here? Okay, it looks like we have a quick start guide that comes in a Ziploc bag. All right. Um, it also looks like we get a software guide here that kind of shows um, AirDroid Premium, uh, Wonderless Pro. So um, this is kind of like a different, uh, it looks like different softwares you can use with Chrome. Okay, your quick startup guide looks like it shows you uh, the device itself. You know, kind of shows you where the different parts are, how to open it. Yeah, stuff like that. So very basic. Um, a lot of people who know a lot about computers probably aren't going to need to know a huge amount. Um, I would recommend, though, even if you're very good with computers, that you probably should go through the startup guide with this because the Chromebook is such a different type of computer. Um, like I said, it's not quite like other laptops that, you know, it's kind of good to make sure that you understand because I have heard on various radio programs of some people who have gotten a Chromebook because they're like, oh, look, it's a cheap laptop. And they bought it, they booted it up, and they suddenly realized, oh, wait, I can't have Microsoft Office on this. Oh, wait, I can't install games. I can't install software because they didn't quite realize that this was more of a editing uh, device, something that, you know, you can have your school papers, your, uh, your documents for jobs. You can have those on Word and you would maybe use those on another device. You would upload them to Google Documents, then you can access it via this computer and do all of your edits and then transfer them to a printer or something like that. So it looks like here we have warranty information. So this is just going to be basically, you know, uh, what this computer comes with. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what the warranty uh, information is, um, but uh, let's save that. All right, so then on to uh, what you've all been waiting for is the computer itself. Okay, so we're going to close this box up here. Let me show you here. Okay, so the computer itself uh, is very thin, obviously, as you can see, and it looks like um, it's... Uh, on these two edges, it's protected by a very thick styrofoam that the computer sits in, and so this makes it so that it's not moving around the box. It's extremely sturdy. You can see there's no movement here at all. So we're gonna take those off. Okay, and then the computer itself, you can tell here, is uh, in a, uh, you know, kind of like a, uh, you know, a protective wrap, so to speak, here. And this uh, is protecting the um, computer from being scratched. And so as you can see, it's a bag of sorts. Um, so I would definitely suggest uh, when you're taking the computer out of here, hang on to this bag just in case there's any problems. If you get a lemon of a computer or it just turns out it's something you don't really like and you want to return it, it's good to have all of this stuff here. So I would definitely suggest keeping the packing, keeping the box, keep your warranty information and such, and just open your box very carefully. So this is the time that you might not want to be like Christmas morning and rip stuff open. All right, so we're going to pull the computer out here. We're going to fold this bag up and stick it right there. All right, so my initial thoughts just looking at it, it's a very smooth design. Um, if you can see along the edge, there's kind of like a ridging and just the feel of it on the top, they almost have done it to be a mock leather. If anyone owns the Note 3 um, or the um, earlier or later incarnations of the Note, um, they'll recognize the feel kind of of this. And it's made this way. It's really good to hold on to. It grips your, uh, your the ridges of your finger really well. So you can see on the front, um, it says Chrome, it has the design, and then it says Samsung, because there are a lot of different Chromebooks that are done by different companies. Um, partially, I went with Samsung because it was a good price, and also because I know that their brand, for the most part, uh, stands for quality, and I know I'm not going to get you know, a, a terrible product. All right, so turning it over, we have our serial information here. Um, it looks like we also have um, little rubber um, stands uh, so that the computer... Um, doesn't really move. It's very sturdy because a lot of laptops slide. This one, it doesn't slide that much at all. You know, you can see actually that I can lift the computer up like this. It's only at this, you know, length that it actually starts to slide a little bit. So this computer is very stable to have on any surface. All right. So now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to open it up. Uh, I'm not sure if it's charged enough to turn on, but uh, let, let's see. <laughs> All right, so it looks like on the inside here, uh, we have another sheet um, of soft material here to protect uh, the keyboard um, and the mouse and the screen. So I'm gonna hang on to that, like I said, just in case for some reason I need to return this. All right, so let's look at the, uh, at the computer itself here. Um, we have an island style uh, keyboard here. 
Um, we also have, um, it looks like separated arrow keys, um, a uh, uni mouse pad here. So it looks like when you press down on it, it's all one piece. Um, I'm assuming also these, you can normally do the expanding and decreasing. Uh, you have, of course, your stickers here, um, you know, uh, Energy Star um, and Intel to show what type of processor it has. Um, and then if you look on the screen here itself, you can see the uh, small um, but very functional 11.6 inch screen. This is a little bit smaller than I normally like with a laptop or, excuse me, a Chromebook. Uh, but for the most part, like I said, I'm going to be taking this computer to coffee shops and be taking it to you know school campuses to work, whatever. This is something that I need to be able to fit in a bag and to take out in and out very quickly. So, <clears throat> so as I said, you know it's very good. It also does have a camera on top of here so that you can do skyping, Google Chat, uh, anything like that. There was not any information on what um, kind of what strength this camera is, so I'm not entirely sure. Now. Let's try and boot it up here. Now, if you notice, most computers have the power button up along here. This one is actually located in the island, and it looks like another key. Now, that's something that makes me a little apprehensive, uh, because just as you're typing, you would need to be careful that you didn't hit that power key, because you might, you know, you don't want to make any mistakes. But for the most part, Google Drive and uh, the Google Documents are saved as you type them. So even if you did accidentally turn it off, most likely you're going to be fine. So let's see if we can boot it up here. All right. So we're going to... Press this button here. Hmm. It does not appear to be turning on. So most likely, let's take a look here. Most likely, this uh, this computer might have too low of a battery right now. Um, some devices come fully charged, some come partially charged, uh, and like I said, it normally just depends on the device itself. So let's pull out here. Um, uh, in this box here, uh, if you notice, um, that's going to be the cord for this. Set this computer back up on here so you can see. You can see it comes in a square box, completely white, no markings of any kind. So we're going to open this up. You can see the cord comes right in here. Now this is like your basic Samsung cord uh, that's going to be basic for your laptop. <clears throat> and so you can see it says Samsung on there to show that this is a brand cord. Now with com computers, laptops, Chromebooks, you know, pretty much any device, you're going to want to, for the most part, stick with the, um, the charging device that uh, comes with, the, with your, um, I mean, the charging cord that comes with your device. Because a lot of times, sometimes you can have, you know, possibly shorts in your computer or your device that make the battery charge not as efficiently. So I like to stick with, uh, with the brand. Alrighty. So I'm going to plug this in here because I really would like to, you guys to see it boot up. You can see there's the... Uh, a little slot right there where the power cord goes in. Uh, here is one um, port there. And here are the other ones as well that go along the side. And it looks like there's going to be your headphone jack. And this here comes out. And it looks like you have like an SD slot, it looks like, that you can stick stuff in there. So, you know, so for the most, most part, I would say, you know, this appears to be very much of like a mobile device. I would equate this device almost more with a cell phone and a tablet than I would actually uh, a computer itself. Okay. okay, let's get this charged in here. Actually, you know what? I apologize. It looks like I made a mistake there. It looks like this is actually going to be the headphone jack, and this is actually going to be the power uh, area. So you can see this is actually a very small, um, more akin to a phone than a computer. Okay, so that's plugged in. If you give me just a moment here. Alrighty, so it looks like it is charging. If you see here, there's the little uh, light and it's booting up quite swiftly. So we have the Chrome logo coming up on the nice 11.6 inch screen here. And it pops right up. And you can see uh, that um, here, welcome, select your language, select your keyboard, select your network with your screen in the back. So obviously you can see how quickly this booted up. This was within seconds. And that's one of the things that people like about the Chromebooks is that they do not take a long time at all. You're literally, you open it up, you're ready to go immediately. So thank you for watching this, uh, um, you know, this unboxing of the uh, Samsung Chromebook 2. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to be posting uh, this upcoming week a more in-depth review of the workings of the computer itself. So I'm going to be showing, you know, opening documents, surfing the internet, kind of just showing the speed that you get to kind of see, you know, kind of the, 
the limits that this computer has. So um, definitely check up on my channel. Um, I'm going to try and have that up uh, probably around Tuesday or Wednesday for you guys. So make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching Gamer Gamer.